Hey guys, Jay Prada Performance here. Uh, okay, so I'm working on a C6, and this is going to be what we call a wide ratio C6. Uh, very common swap in these. A lot of guys will do this themselves with a. It's basically parts out of an E4OD 4R100 transmission. Other people sell this as well. Uh, we sell it. It's called a wide ratio gear kit. Quite honestly, I'm out of stock on them a lot these days. I the damn the number nine kits have become a problem to get. And you know, we order ten and three come in after three weeks, and it's just it's very frustrating uh, just getting all the pieces these days. And but you know, they're usually for sale on the site pretty regularly. So, anyways, uh, not here to talk about that. What I'm talking about here is got a new product here and it's gonna hopefully help you guys out some and uh, it's gonna help me out here in the shop so what's become the problem is this so the wide ratio gear kit required the forward drum that had the bearing pocket so if you measure from here down to here where the bearing sits uh, that's about four hundred thousandths point four zero zero Okay, so it, it demanded this drum, and this drum is from roughly 75, 76 onward. So if you had the earlier drum, the wide ratio kit wouldn't work. And if you wanted to use it, you would have to get, uh, you know, the newer drum in your unit. And what's happening here is these drums are getting to be a problem to find. And... And I was looking around today, and some people are asking a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars for a used drum. It's it's crazy. I don't know that anybody pays that. I mean, I sure as hell won't. But I mean, you can practically buy a core for that. But you know, maybe that's where things are headed. I'm a little out of touch sometimes. I guess that's just part of getting older. So these prices are going crazy. Uh, so, anyways. If you're going to do a wide ratio kit, the first thing you want to do is you want to measure this depth here. And best way to do it is with a depth mic like this. But you really don't need to be super accurate on this. If you've just got one of these 6 inch uh, calipers and you just take it and just sit it in there and it's, it you know measures depth on the end and you sit it down there and, and you should have about 400 thousandths. If you don't, you have this other style drum here. This measures, I think, is about 330 thousandths. So it's about 70 thousandths different, roughly. And uh, if you had this older style drum, this is, you know, 1975 and older, you would have to replace this drum normally or just not do a wide ratio gear kit in it. So because these drums are getting harder to find and obviously getting a lot more expensive than they used to be, what I've decided to do, I'm tired of worrying about what drum I had and customers having a problem with this or having to search for a drum, whatever. So I've come up with this idea and, and I've done this before and I've done it various different ways and different materials. Uh, so what you basically got to do is you have to make up for this and what it is this drums actually shorter uh, so a lot of people think that you know you can machine something to make it work you know machine the bearing pocket deeper or something no it doesn't work because actually this surface here is actually already too low so you have to add material not you know not reduce or machine something somewhere so easy way to do that and this this little blue plastic spacer here, uh, we're going to start offering these. And yeah, I know, before you start saying, well, geez, why did you do it in plastic? That's cheap. I considered a lot of things. Uh, you know, bronze was probably going to be my number one pick, but I've actually decided on this plastic, and it's, uh, it's a good plastic. It's a high-temperature plastic. Uh, it's made for making washers and gears and things like that. Withstands transmission fluid, of course, and operating temperature is about 250 degrees max. 
And that's operating temperature. It doesn't mean it melts at that. It melts quite a bit higher, I think, 500 or something. But if you're operating your transmission at 250 or more all the time, you've got problems. You need to fix that because you're going to have problems with a lot of things, not just this washer. But this washer will withstand 250, uh, you know, as an operating temperature. But hopefully you'll be a lot lower than that. So basically, this here, you would normally put this on here, onto your hub, and then you would assemble everything. Well, you're not going to use this anymore. And this is so simple, you'll like it. All you do, I'm stacking this gear train together, you're just going to stick that on top of the hub, done. Now just put your forward drum on and stack the rest of the assembly like, like you would normally. And that's all it is. Um, and it's just a very simple solution, relatively inexpensive. It is pretty expensive, this plastic, for plastic, and surprisingly, the cost of it's really high, but you can make these cheaper out of a steel or aluminum or whatever, but uh, bronze, and it's, I don't think it's, maybe it's a little cheaper than bronze, but not by much. It's kind of crazy, but it's good stuff, and it won't, it won't hurt the other components that touch it. Bronze, I think, if you're using the aluminum planetary, might tend to hurt it a little bit over time, but I think this is a good way to go. And also understand that I've put bearings in this location to fix this issue, but the thing is you really don't need a bearing here. This only rotates in reverse. And we don't really care. You're not in reverse much, so there's no real reason to spend money to put a bearing there. It can be done. I can do it if you really want to, uh, but there's no reason to spend that money. This plastic spacer is very simple, very effective. Again, only rotates in reverse because this, this ring gear here, when your forward drum is locked on and forward drum is on on first, second, and third gear, this is not rotating. The planet rotates inside of it, but this this is not rotating. This is just going to stay stationary. So really all it is is a spacer. And it just solves this problem. You don't have to worry about getting another drum. And we're going to offer this on the site. we got a lot of new things coming up in 2024. This is just a small one, just a little problem solver, but... Uh, another thing I want to show you about our Y ratio kit, you can see here that this has been machined. This is something I do to them. If you look in here, if you look how close, I mean, it's, it's not that close because I've machined it, but these sun shells tend to flare out at the end, and sometimes they'll rub inside this case or be really close to rubbing in it, and then you any flex or anything could cause it to rub. So I just machine that back, just one of the things I do. Another thing I do different is this is the hub and you can see there's a, I put a uh, Babbitt bushing in here because if you're using the six pinion steel planetary, the problem is this is a cast iron hub and the planetary, the steel planet is cast iron as well. So you have two similar materials rubbing on each other. So sometimes this would wear into the planetary. And there's guys that sell like a sleeve that goes over that planet to fix it and this and that. But that's, that's the reason it's wearing is because you have two similar materials rubbing against each other. I learned that in trade school a long time ago. Don't have the same materials on, you know, on each other in a bearing situation. So don't know why Ford overlooked that. I think they did actually fix this, and they, they were doing this at one point, but they just continued those 4R100 transmissions, so it didn't really matter to them anymore. Uh, they just continued the bushing and all that. But I still do that on mine here, so when you get our gear kit, it's got the 6-pinion steel planetary in the front, and then the reverse plan, it's a 4-pinion aluminum. And that's all you need there. Some guys think you need a six pinion steel in the rear, but in my experience, you really don't in most situations. Uh, the four pinion aluminum holds up extremely well. 
it's going to outdo the six pinion front you know if you want to know the truth that's been my experience anyway so uh, just a couple things on that gear set I wanted to point out and show you that new spacer so you can use either drum so before you order this kit from us just you know double check which drum you have if it's the point four hundred then it's the seventy six and up if it's going to be the three thirty uh, deep pocket then you're going to want the seventy five and older and uh, if you get the seventy five and older it's going to come with this little blue washer here and real can't be simple to install just put that in there like that and um, you're all set no need to spend a hundred bucks I guess on a new drum so anyways hope that helps you out and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks